This week on Machinery Pete TV, more green machines for sale on this Ryerson auction and a beautiful 4440 tops the list. This Oklahoma farmer and his John Deere R grew up together. And Pete does some research and finds the sweet spot in used tractors. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery Pete TV. We're in Williams, Iowa this week and I'm really excited. We're going to watch a farm sale by my good friends at Ryerson Auction Realty. Now I got to tell you, I got a soft spot in my heart for these folks. Uh, back in July of 2008, uh, before I started our Machinery Pete YouTube channel, we filmed one of their auctions in Renwick, Iowa, and we made a pilot for a, a TV show that I had this crazy idea that we needed to do. And I can't believe that was 11 years ago. Now we're in season seven, and trust me, this sale's got some sharp equipment you're gonna enjoy. But before we hop into that action, let's throw it back to the studio, catch up on the latest farm equipment news. Thanks, Pete. We'll start with a developing story we've been following regarding the use of dicamba herbicides. The EPA issuing a response to an appeals court decision that blocked the sale and use of three dicamba-based weed products. The EPA is saying that existing stocks of the three affected products, Ingenia, Fexapan, and Extendamax, can be used for a limited time under the requirements of the invalidated label. EPA says it will be enforcing proper application procedures during the use of those remaining dicamba stocks. Now, Syngenta's Tavium herbicide was not part of the court ruling, and the company says its dicamba-based product is still available for use. From dumping milk to a dramatic rise in prices, there's been a lot happening in the dairy industry over the past couple of months. Milk prices hitting a low of 1068 per hundredweight on April 22nd. Well, now those prices have climbed back, trading above $20 this week. Industry watchers say it's being driven right now by higher trading in spot cheese markets. And just how much has the coronavirus impacted Americans' Food spending, we'll take a look at this graphic. USDA reporting spending at grocery stores and other food at home retailers was 6.5% higher in February compared to the same time last year. Well, in March, it was 19% higher. That part of the graphic there is in blue. As for eating out the information in orange, you can see the dramatic drop. Spending in February, 39% lower, and in March, a whopping 51% lower. And that's it for news. Now let's check on some recent auction prices from around the country. Now back to Machinery Pete. Hang with us folks, coming up we got a beautiful tractor for you, this 1981 John Deere 4440 quad range, 4830 hours on it. This season, while work for you may have changed, our season is underway. American agriculture farms on for our family and yours. Folks, I'm here with auctioneer Gene Ryerson, and Gene, boy, we've got a clean line of equipment today. You must have been getting uh, quite a number of phone calls on this stuff. We're talking to people all over the United States on it. Very low hours. Uh, Marty was telling me that uh, they'd been downsizing a little bit over the years. Maybe that's the reason for the low hours on the stuff? Yes, and you know, we had some good years in ag, and people spent some money a few years back and uh, updated everything, and this, this stuff is as 
good a used as I think you'll find. Right. So you look at that 8220 deer with, you know, 15 years oldish and with low hours like that. I mean, you just don't see many with under 1000 hours on them. That's true. A lot of interest in the uh, the big tractor too. Right, the 8310 and how about the 4440? That's under 5000 hours, right? That's unusual. Very unusual. Most of them are 7, 8, 9. Now you it must make you smile as an auctioneer to get a chance to sell a sharp well just a whole sharp line like this. It really is. It's an honor, and you got you got a serious responsibility. Well, good stuff here, folks. Check out the note from the owners, 1981 John Deere 4440, 4,830 hours on it. Marty says he's owned it since it had 100 hours on it. And again, 4,830 hours now. So far this year, the average auction price on a 4440, 18,135 bucks. But when they're this nice. The 10 highest I've seen this year, anywhere from 25750 up to 435 It's always been shedded. It's, uh, yeah, it's just not done a lot. I used it as a planting tractor. My wife was her stock cutting tractor. Uh, that's about all it's done. It's just a good solid tractor. 17 and a half. Up, up to 20,000 dollars. 20, 21, 2, up, 22, and now up, 3, 23, up, and now 4, and now 5, up, and now 6, and now 7. Up, now 8, 28,000 dollars. 28, 9. 29,000 dollars. 29, again 9. 28, again 9. 9, 9, 29, and now 30,000 dollars. 30, up, 30, now 1. 31,000 $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000, $31,000,
Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com. Times have been tough here in farm country the last five, six years, tough to make a profit. And as the cost of new tractors, of course, has continued to rise, the trend I've been seeing, and it's become very pronounced, is the very good condition low hour models that are 10 to 20 years old. Boy, that is the sweet spot. Ton of buyer demand there. Now, if we look at some recent examples just on the John Deere side, sort of in this 190 to 200 horsepower range, here's a picture of a 97 model John Deere 8300. 3,185 hours on it. Now, this sold on a farm auction November 27th of 2019 in Northwest Ohio. Went for $91,000. And you can see here that's tied for the third highest auction price the past six years on a John Deere 8300, with the top two prices both at $95,000. Now, one was fairly recently. You can see on the left, August 22nd of 2018, farm auction Montevideo, Minnesota, 95 model, 868 hours, went for $95,000. And on the right, back in February of 16, in farm sale in Wilcox, Nebraska, a 96 model 8300, under 700 hours, also went for 95K. Now, if we go one model series older than our 8220 on today's auction, let's look at this 2001 John Deere 8210, 3,442 hours on it. This sold on a September 10th farm auction, uh, also in Northwest Ohio, went for $81,000. Now that, folks, is the highest auction price on an 80, uh, 8210 in eight years. Had to go all the way back to December of 2011 to find a higher auction price on an 8210. And if we go one model series newer, a little more horsepower, this John Deere 8230 with 1,513 hours on it. This sold on a farm auction March 1st in Urbana, Ohio, and you can see one for $136,000. Highest auction price here in five and a half years on 8230. So again, very clear what people want are these nice 10 to 20 year old models. So it wouldn't surprise me at all on today's sale or low hour 8220 if this thing is pretty hot. Hey folks, welcome back to Tractor Tales. We are in Oklahoma today here with David Shepard and David, you have a kind of unique 1951 John Deere R here. I understand you bought this when you were how old now? I was 16 and a sophomore in high school. And the reason you bought it was? Uh, I went into hay business. I bought uh, John Deere hay mine okay. swather uh, and I pulled it with this tractor. Okay. So how much, do you remember how much you gave for the 51 R? thousand dollars. What did that feel like in 1967? Uh, a lot of money. <laughs> when you're 16. When you're 16, yeah. Wow. And I wound up, by the time I got out of high school, I had two R's and a 3010 LP and a John Deere 224 Baylor and two John Deere Swathers. So David, when you look at the 51 R here and you remember being a young guy, 16, 17, 18 years old, making money, haying with this thing, what, what memories do you have? Well, <clears throat> It was a lot of hard work. <laughs> we run around the clock for a lot of hours, and and then I got married out of high school. Well, I went to college, and the, my business put me through college. And then I rented my first farm in 1969, and I farmed with this R for quite a few years. Over. And David, you you like to keep them in their work clothes? Well, these these two here, I do. That's the way I remember them. Folks, stay with us. You can't miss the feature item on our show today coming up. This beautiful 2005 John Deere 8220. This thing only has 1,368 hours on it.
Well, folks, Deere made the 8220 model from 2002 to 2005. So it's right in that sweet spot, 15 to 20 years old, that when you find a really nice one, boy, the demand for it is off the charts. And our feature item on today definitely fits the bill. It's an 04 model with only 1,368 hours. Now, the highest auction price I've seen this year on 8220 92,000 bucks on a sale March 9th, 2019 in Northwest Ohio, 1,774 hours. 107, you want it? 106, 107, anybody else? 107,000 dollars? 107. Yep, yep. 108, internet's on. Yo. 108, 109. Internet's out. 108, 109. 108 to give 109. 108 to give 109. 108 to give Well, folks, it might seem like the last few years all I wind up writing about is 10 to 20 year old tractors with low hours and the incredible demand for them and high prices. I tell you, we proved it again today with our feature item, the 2005 John Deere 8220, 1,368 hours on it. Sells for $117,000. Now, coming into the sale today, the highest auction price I'd seen in the last five years on an 8220 was 112. Well, I've been talking now for a couple of years, folks, about personalizing the used equipment you have for sale, whether it's uh, at auction or privately. And I tell you what, you got the perfect example of how this works. Now, here's a picture of me with Larry and Angie Hatfield from Chillicothe, Ohio, back at the Louisville Farm Show back in mid-February. Now, they had been at the show the previous year and heard me talk about personalizing used equipment. And actually, I'd given the suggestion of getting drone video on your farm uh, planting time and harvest season. For the purpose that down the road, a year or two, whenever, you want to sell that tractor, combine, grain cart, plant, or whatever, now you have this drone video from your farm in action. Very powerful. So the Hatfields had this combine for sale last month, the 2003 Case H 2366. Beautiful, 2,500 SEP hours on it. They listed it for sale in our machinerypeat.com website, our new for sale by owner option. I loaded all the pictures, and they sent me the drone video. So I took it, took it, made a little video, put it out on YouTube, our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And guess what? In two days, it sold to a buyer from Idaho, this guy, Gary Reynolds, who I met at the Commodity Classic Show in San Antonio. He came up and he said, Pete, I bought the combine. And he was happy as a clam. He said, I've been looking for that exact thing for a long time. Now, Larry followed up, sent me a text and said, Pete, within two days of getting that video out there we'd sold this thing and we'd had it listed on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist for over two months with no serious inquiries so that folks is why you personalize what you're selling and why you should also list it for sale with us at machinerypeat.com well folks thanks for joining us here in Williams Iowa this week great fun to be here for this farm retirement auction and I told you this was nice stuff what fun to watch the 8220 John Deere sell for 117,000 bucks, highest price in over five years. And anytime you get 30K on a 4440, tells you how nice it is. Now tune in next week, we'll have more cool stuff to show you. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com.